guys, it's Shari and I am GLA Repping. Today I'm going to do a do and don't packing video. Also today, I have a guest star, my little sister right here. It's Kiara. Say hi. Hi. Okay. She's going to be helping me with the do's and don'ts. Let's get started. So, step numero uno is technically get a good size luggage. So, you don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. I'm just going to use my duffel bag here. I'm not saying that this is necessarily too small, but depending on the length of your trip and exactly what you need, this might be too small. Okay, I'm just going to take this beautiful tank top. This is my favorite one of all time in life. It's gonna be so hot and it's gonna look so good on me. Just gotta like put that in there. These shorts are so beautiful and they're gonna like, everyone's gonna think I look so good. There you go. Then, um, I think these would be the best shoes to pack. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna. Put that in there. These leggings, too. I'm gonna be perfect on this trip. Wrong. So, basically. Okay. <laughs> okay, so some of these things are just plainly you should not bring with you, and some of these things you can get away with, but you have to tweak your wardrobe just a little bit. Okay. First of all, why are you touching my stuff? Listen, <laughs> you cannot be bringing flip flops on a. No, I'm just kidding. You can bring flip flops with you. It work. Um, it helps a lot when you go and take a shower or you're just walking around the home base or something. Flip flops are good, but I do not recommend walking in flip flops or using flip flops at your service site or when you're going out somewhere or anything like that. They're good, like I said, they're good for showering, they're good for walking around the home base, but even walking around just the home base, I'd be really careful with that, and most likely it's better to use um, sneakers or... Regular shoes, like tennis shoes and stuff, because you need to protect your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Keds are, are good, pretty, pretty good too. I like the close toe. Yeah, so just make sure you have close toe shoes, so... Only thing you'd bring your sandals for is shower. Basically, that's only thing you want it for. Okay. Got it. Got it. Great. We're on a roll. Anyways, next thing. Shorts. I'm the best thing to bring. No, I'm just kidding. Wrong. Okay. No. Okay. For girls, I know you guys like wearing these booty shorts. I know you like wearing like very short shorts and everything because like that. Because it makes you look so pretty. Especially if you're coming from California, or spe more specifically, SoCal, like I do, where you know it when it gets hot, you're going to break out these babies. Let me tell you something. In most countries, this is very, very disrespectful to be wearing. Mm -hmm. And also, it just kind of makes you stand out as a tourist. So do not wear really short shorts. Um, if you want to wear shorts, preferably use the school rule where it's past your fingertips. Or if you can, wear basically three-quarter pants if you don't want to wear just like pants in general. Um, anything that covers your knees is pretty much good um, as long as it's not very tight on you. And I'm going to get to that part in just a second. And if you wear short shorts, not only will everyone else feel awkward, but you're going to be like, why am I the only one wearing this? And you'll be like, why is everyone staring at me? I just wanted to look good. You're going on this trip to respect the country, to get to know the country, and to do volunteer in the country. Not to look good. There you go. No. So, shorts, booty shorts, short shorts. No. Next. Where did all your clothes go? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Tank tops. It's cute. If you're in a warm country, like if you're going to Africa, if you're going to India, if you're going, basically if you're going anywhere in the summer, like the GLA offers, because basically everywhere gets really hot in the summer, you're probably going to want to wear a tank top. Maybe even a tank top that has an open back like this, that has like really open sides like this. Don't do it! I don't care. Any type of tank top. 
even if like the sides go up like close up to here if it has if it has a backing or whatever don't wear tank tops because it's the same thing with the shorts it's very disrespectful for the country i mean like show, showing your shoulder or whatever if you want to wear some type of like short sleeve shirt whatever wear a short sleeve shirt i know it's hot but guess what it's better if you respect the country than if you don't and you're paying for this trip not to go there and be like, why am I the only one and I don't feel good because everyone's staring at me. Yeah, basically. Also, I guarantee you that your mentor, especially depending on the country that you're in, will tell you to turn back around, go back to your room, and change. Because that happened to me in Thailand. And I was totally fine with it, but also, if your mentor does end up doing that to you, do not give them an attitude. They're just telling you that for your own protection. You don't know what the country is like, you've never been there, you don't like you don't know what the people are like, more likely than not they do, and they're just trying to um, do that for your protection. And again, they're your mentors, they're trying to guide you, not mislead you, so Yeah. Okay, so no take that. I'm just gonna throw everything everywhere like ding <laughs> ding. Mess, mess, mess. Okay, anyways. Um leggings. Okay, the thing about leggings is that it's not that you can't wear them and that you can't bring them. Honestly, in India and in Thailand, basically, I wore leggings all the time. These were the pants or leggings. Leggings or pants? Leggings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are things that I wore all the time. Only problem with leggings. Girls, I know you're wearing these leggings to look good too. To be like attractive to all those cute guys or whatever in the country. Guess what? They don't care. Okay, if you're gonna wear leggings, leggings are really tight. They're gonna show off your booty. They're gonna, like they're gonna accent your muscles in your legs or whatever. Great, dandy, fine. You don't want your booty to be accident. You don't want these things to be accident in most of these countries. Okay, so if you're gonna wear leggings, make sure you wear a long enough sh uh, shirt that covers your butt, basically. But that doesn't mean you can't wear them. You can wear them as long as you wear a long shirt. But if you like wearing a crop top, first of all, don't wear a crop top. Because no. I'm not getting started in that. No. Okay? And you just, it just goes along with everything else. You don't want to feel out of place. Yeah. That's kind of weird. <laughs> no, but yeah, seriously, you want to wear leggings, that's completely fine. I wore it all the time in Thailand and in India and I think some in Costa Rica too. I wasn't into leggings when I went to Costa Rica, but Costa Rica too. Um, you can wear them, just make sure you're wearing a long sh shirt. I have to really like emphasize that because your mentor probably will send you back if you're not wearing a long enough shirt. But if you can, try not to wear leggings as much because then you're just going to be wearing long shirts the whole trip and you want to wear your favorite shirt it's like right there and it's like be wise be wise so leggings can pack as long as you have a big enough and long enough shirt hey that has sleeves no tank top no tank top okay so the video is like basically nine minutes long and that's why I didn't continue with it but um if you actually do have more questions about packing tips or whatever, please feel free to message me. I'm probably going to redo this video at some point. And also, I have some packing hacks um, that really help out when you're planning out a trip like this. So, yeah. Message me if you have any questions, if you want to know some of my packing hacks. I think I might actually make a video about packing hacks. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I know this is really long. I'm so sorry. And have fun on your trip. Okay, bye.